Welcome back, folks. Trini Cooks Thursdays continues here on A Cup of Joe, and we enter our bi-local cook local segment. This week, as I've been telling you, um, it's, it's after Lent, Easter is gone, and I've broken all my fasts. I'm now eating meat, I'm now drinking alcohol, I'm doing everything that I was not doing for the last six to eight weeks or so. And I decided that I'm going to bring one of my favorite sandwiches over the last couple of times. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a gentleman that I know very, very well. Uh, he's been popping up all over. Uh, he, I'm sure you know him if you are. He's, he's a photographer by nature. But for some reason, all of a sudden, he decided to smoke meats or smoke pork. And he's now known as Smokey Pete. <laughs> Peter Limchoy, folks, is joining me inside by Local Cook Local. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for having me. I love, I love, I love the meat peat. I love it. You're, you're, you're more brilliant than I thought. Well, meat I, peat. I have a strong marketing, you know. Team. You do? Very good. Pete, you, you, I mean, seriously speaking, you, you're a photographer. I, I know you as a, a photographer. Yes. What, what got you going with smoky peat? And explain to folks what is smoky peat. I mean, I've been grilling for a good number of years. Um, and it was only probably about maybe six, seven years ago, I got interested in barbecue. Um, I have friends in Texas and right. I went to visit and um, he carried me for barbecue. And, you know, from the first time you, you try it, it's just, yeah, yeah. you know, it just changed your whole Perspective, landscape. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and from then you, you literally s said you wanted to, to do it on your own. Well, I mean, I would have been quite happy if somebody else, you know, was, you know, doing great, you know, barbecue down here and you know, I wouldn't have to go through the process, yeah. but I mean, when I find that, you know, I really like to eat something and, you know, there's, it's not available, mm -hmm. then I just have to figure out how to make it and do it for myself. Right. Um, and this behind us here is a smoker. Yes. It's a, is it an industrial smoker? Uh, it's actually a, just a residential. Uh, this is a residential smoker? Yeah. Um, but it's an electric smoker. Mm -hmm. So it's um, basically, you know, it's good, you know, in terms of capacity, it will you know, make it good for house lime. Right, right. Uh, do they come in smaller sizes in terms of if, if it is, or this is, this is a probably about the smallest it comes in? Um, it comes in like one size smaller than this. Right. Um, well, I mean, you can make a, basically a smoker out of, you know, a lot of different things. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, people make smokers out of uh, filing cabinets, fridges, right, you know, right, right. But back of trunks. Right, yeah. Because what do you need basically to, to be able to make it? It's, it's a, a smoking box is basically a, a metal enclosure. So right. um, basically you, once you have a heating element, you know, and you can control the temperature inside, you know, a metal enclosure, you have a smoker. Smoking is slow cooking. Slow cooking. So With love. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like to think of it as yeah, love. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and you, you've done, you, you've been doing pork, um, but you can smoke almost anything, can't you? You can, you can do chicken, you can, you can smoke almost anything. Yeah, you can smoke fish. I mean, we've, you know, we have, we've had like smoke herring, you know, from, right. you know, we're accustomed to eating that. Right. Um, smoke cheese, um, right. you know, smoke sausages. Yeah. But you, 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 like the, you like the pork? I like the pork like and the pork. I like brisket, you know. And the brisket. Is. What do you have for us here? Um, today we have um, a smoked pulled pork, which is the pork butt that is... Um, you should have smelled the waft that I got there as you opened. So that's a... That's pork. That's pork. So this is a, a Boston butt that has been um, smoked for about eight hours. Eight hours? Yes. Is it the longer you smoke it, the better? Um, it's a trade-off. I mean, you know, it becomes more tender as you smoke it, but it also, you know, will get more dry. Right. So right. you have to find that balance. That balance. In eight between. hours is, is, is about, I know some people leave, leave it overnight and say, okay, I, I just leave it, allow it to smoke. It depends on your, you know, on your smoker, you know, like how well you can maintain the temperature. I right. Mean, um, this is an electric smoker, so it's a lot easier to maintain, set the temperature and just like leave it. Uh, if it was like a charcoal smoker, you'll have to babysit it more. You have to add, right. more, add more coals right. at certain points. If right. it's gas as well, you know, it might have more fluctuations in the temperature. But right. I mean, so, I mean, this one, as I said, you know, is, was, easiest to deal with. Right. Guys, Peter does some fantastic sandwiches. It's usually at upmarket. Upmarket is the only way your sandwiches are available now? Um, well, because of my commitments for photography, I mean, yeah. you know, it's like, I mean, once a month at upmarket is what uh, right now I can commit to in it's terms of time. It's fantastic sandwiches. And um, I'm going to, to, to make one now, Peter. You're going to allow me to make one? I'm actually going to allow you to yeah. pull the pork. Pull the pork. So this is, <laughs> this is your pork pullers? They're called bear claws, you know. Bear claws. 
Am I holding it right? Yeah, yeah. You can, um, you know. And I just, and I, I you just, can reverse it if you want to, you know, make it easier. It this way? Yeah. Right. And you just dive in uh, and then you pull it across. And I go this way. So, you know, because it's been cooking for so long, it, you know, it should be Ooh, easily. It's tender. Yeah. yeah. It's this, very tender. So this, this, this was smoked for, as I said, about eight hours? About eight hours. And this, this, is, uh, this is pork, but you can do brisket. You can do any, any cut of meat? Um, some cuts are better, much better than others. I mean, yeah. you know, because of um, the meats that are generally better, you know, for um, smoking are like fatty with like a lot of interconnective tissue. Um, right. You know, I mean, like a loin, which is, doesn't have much fat in it, you know, would be, you know, get pretty dry. You know, so, I mean, it's not generally a very good cut to, Pete, to smoke. I am really, really enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know I would have enjoyed this as much as I am. You seem quite natural. I, yes, know yes. It. I, it's almost, yeah, yeah. You've done this before. I have done this before. I, and I have never really did it before, but I'm enjoying this thoroughly. <laughs> if you need people to help you. Pull the I might take you up you, on that yeah, actually. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm, I'm available. Saturdays get quite hectic <laughs> in that adult market. <laughs> so literally, I mean, once you can shred it as much as, as you like it shredded. Yeah, you know. And um, you serve it on a normal, nice local hops bread. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I normally would just, I said, you know, put a good amount. Nice. Generous amount. Yes, I need a lot of. I need a lot. Put a little more for me, please. Thank you. <laughs> yes. And uh, we have um, <laughs> some. Honey mustard, which I... That's, that's, your, that's your secret sauce, so yeah? Not so secret, not but, so secret. you know. Yeah. <laughs> I think, you know, it, it marries well. And marries slight, well with the pork. Slight pepper. Slight, yeah. So you don't do ketchup? Um, not for pork. Yeah. You know, I, I tend to, you know, um, do, use that more for the brisket. Right, right, right. And, and, and the flavor is different. Um, I think the brisket gives you a little more rustic-y sort of flavor, am I right? Um, the flavor, you know, from the smoke is normally comes from what type of wood you use. Right. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, they have a bunch of different ones. There's oak, there's pecan, there's apple, And that gives different flavors. Different flavors yeah. based on, you know, what, you know. I mean, for pork, you tend to use more hickory, apple, whereas for brisket, you know, which is beef, you know, I mean, you might tend to use more oak or pecan or... I have one question before I, I, I bite in and we wrap. This you would have seasoned or you just literally... How, how would you have prepared this before it goes into the smoker? Um, Not giving away all your secrets, of course. No, no, no. Yeah. Um, basically, I use... Um, I, you know, first, you know, abuse um, salted, you know, so, you know, let that marinate for a bit right. and then I add a dry rub, you know, which I use. You know, so right. I shake it all over and let, you know, generally marinate overnight. Right. So there's a little special mixture of dry rubs, different, different, different I spices. I mean, there's, there's so many different ones, yeah, you know, yeah, depends, yeah. you know, and I found one that I like and I just tweaked it to, to suit. Yeah. And, and literally it, it gets in there and, and the love happens in there. And the love happens the love there, happens you know, in there. eight Pete, hours. I want to thank you very much for dropping by. Um, Smokey Pete, his sandwiches, of course, are available at Upmarket. Um, he's, he's a photographer by nature, he's by, by trade, um, but everybody's running these sandwiches down now, so I'm supposing that you're going to have to do it mass market just now, Pete. Well, you know, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see how things go in the future. Peter Limchai, thank you very much for dropping by. Uh, Smoky Pete, the sandwiches are available at Upmarket. Pulled pork sandwiches, pulled brisket sandwiches as well. That's what it's, it's all about. I am now eating meat, folks, so I'm going on a little binge. All right, yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're coming back. Mm-hmm. <laughs>